October 31st, 2008. An unknown figure posts a document to a cryptography mailing list. Most ignore it. No one realizes they're witnessing the birth of a trillion dollar innovation in just nine pages. The Bitcoin white paper is a masterclass in elegant problem solving. In just 3,500 words, Satoshi introduced a completely new financial system that solved the double spending problem that had defeated every digital cash attempt before it. What made the white paper revolutionary wasn't that it invented new technology. It's that it combined existing tools in a way no one had thought of before. Satoshi took Hashcash's proof of work system, added a decentralized ledger that everyone could verify, and created a clever incentive structure that made the system self-sustaining. The genius was in the synthesis, not the individual parts. The paper itself is surprisingly readable for something so revolutionary. Unlike academic papers drowning in jargon, Satoshi wrote clearly and directly. Perhaps most surprisingly, there are no grand claims about changing the world or replacing banks. Just a matter-of-fact description of a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash. Most remarkable is what the paper doesn't say. There's no mention of liberation from banks, financial freedom, or any political ideology. Yet these themes are embedded in the very design of the system. Bitcoin's radical nature is in its architecture, not its marketing. When cryptographer Hal Finney read the paper, he immediately recognized its potential. Bitcoin seems to be a very promising idea, he wrote. Few others noticed at first, but this unassuming document was about to trigger the biggest disruption to money since gold coins. Next episode, Standing on Giant's Shoulders, How Satoshi Transformed Decades of Failed Experiments into Revolutionary Success. Subscribe now.